Greetings and thanks again for choosing Personal Wine. In this video we want to talk about uh, the square format which we have chosen the square shape for all the Personal Wine label template designs. And there's a big reason for this. Folks come to the site every day and they create labels without any intervention from the Personal Wine staff. And that is they will actually come and use these label templates that we've got set up in all these different categories from basic color to anniversary to weddings and they will create their own labels and the personal wine creative staff will never actually get involved in the design of their label and because of that we have to keep consistency because in many cases they will start with the label idea but not know exactly which type of wine they're going to put the label on here in this other graphic you can see that there are many different styles of wine bottles that go with the different varietals and if you pick Chardonnay they tend to be a, a very contoured bottle like this that you see here uh, Pinot Noir and Syrah they often are going to be in this also kind of contoured shape the Cabernet Sauvignon and Sauvignon Blanc and Merlot are often in this large full bottle that the cylinder has a great deal of surface area uh, however, when you go to a mini bottle, it's very much a replica of this larger Cabernet Sauvignon type of bottle. However, it's much, much smaller. And if you design your label on a square format, we are able to scale it down all the way from 4 inches down to this 2.5 inch size on the mini bottle. So really, the square format is the only format that will work universally across all these different bottle sizes. And we start you out when you design your label up here in this 4 inch square range. Then we can scale down to 3.6 and then 3.4 and then 3.1 on champagne and 2.5 on mini bottles. And you may think that uh, from memory champagne bottles tend to be very large. They really are truly large. This graphic isn't doing them justice. They're about the size actually of these Merlot bottles. However, there's not as much cylindrical surface area for us to use when we create the designs. Often what will happen is, is when we go to put a label on a champagne bottle and the fact that there's such little cylindrical surface area, the square a format label has to be shrunk down quite a bit, all the way to 3.1 inches so that we don't experience bubbling with the label. Hopefully that helps you understand why we are using the square format label. And in another video I will explain about custom labeling and those services that are available from Personal Wine from the creative staff. Uh, and how to get started with using custom labels or designing your own custom labels. Thanks very much. We'll see you at the next video.